y'all. So today we're going to be making Lady Diva's display box. Now this is the second time that I have had to do the intro to this video because when I went upstairs and tried to download it into my computer, for some reason that it was the file was corrupted. So for the first part of this video where uh, I showed you all my supplies and I lined the inside of Lady Diva's box with this beautiful kind of paper here. Um, I'll show you what I use because you're going to see it in a second. But uh, for some reason, um, the file was corrupted and you did not see me lining the box. So I'm so very, very sorry about that. But you do get to see uh, from that point on. But for some reason, the file was corrupted. I don't even understand it. But anyway, let's go ahead and finish Lady Diva's display box. I love the way Lady Diva's box is turning out. I think it matches her personality oh so well. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, deconstruct Lady Diva's box and use some of the pieces in the new display box. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just trim the inside of this box right here, right around here, with these little strips of um, silver sequins, you know. Uh, I think she needs just a little bit more bling going on in this box. Oh yes, just a little bit more sparkle. So I'm going to take a bit of this a pink boa here and I'm going to frame uh, her mirror kind of like you know it's her dressing room curtain I'm just going to glue each corner right up here uh, with a little bit of hot glue to hold it in place so adorbs I think Lady Diva is going to love her display box okay now we're going to do a little bit of work to uh, the front of her box. Now I've got to go ahead and cut out um, the section here so you can see through it and put the piece of uh, clear vinyl over that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Just measuring around about a half an inch all the way around the box and then I'll cut that out and put in uh, the clear vinyl. Now I'm just going to tape this piece of clear vinyl into position and you can get a vinyl like this uh, by the yard uh, at Walmart. That's where I got mine. You're probably able to get it other places as well. I'm just going to use some, uh, some double-sided tape. Okay, there we go. Now we can go ahead and decorate this lid. Again, I'm going to be using some of this pink boa. I love this, but we're going to go all the way around the lid. Just going to glue this into spot but gonna go all the way around the lid and it's just going to be a big fluffy pink lid it's going to match lady diva so well okay there it is oh my goodness isn't that too adorable? Okay, so one more thing that I'm going to do to the lid. Um, she is Lady Diva, and she does have the name Diva on her belt. So I'm going to bring uh, the name Diva with these uh, pretty silvery, sparkly letters. Uh, also, she has a lot of chains. Chains on her boots, chains on her purse, chains on her necklace. Um, you know, I did not notice, but these little earrings, I thought they were chains, but they are snakes. Ah! But anyway, not bringing a snake theme in here. But anyway, I'm going to be uh, going ahead and putting her name, Diva, attaching it to this chain and kind of let it drape down the front of this box. Okay, so I found all the little letters for Diva. There's D-I-V-A. Ain't they pretty and sparkly? I'm going to go ahead and get them attached to this silver chain. Okay, so I'm just going to take my chain and give it one little twist, drape it back up over my hand. And then I can put as many uh, layers of the chain as I want. See, I can make it smaller. And you're just going to do that again as many times as you want to make uh, the kind of length of chain that you are looking for. And that's about right. And then we're going to glue these pieces together so they don't come apart. Okay, now I've got my chain all laid out where I want it. And now I'm just going to attach Diva right to the chain with a little bit of hot glue. I'm just going to go ahead and attach this with just a dab of hot glue because I don't want to melt the plastic. OK, 
Okay, one more thing to this little lid that I'm going to add is this little pink. It's really a hair barrette, see? <laughs> it's really a hair barrette, but it kind of matches the pink of her jacket. And I need a little something, just a little something else right up there in the corner. So I'm going to be adding that right there. Okay, so I'm finally going to be adding all the pieces that I cut out of her original box. Of course, Lady Diva is going to go right up here in this little section where you normally put, because uh, this is a photo box, you normally put what kind of photos are in your box, but we're going to put a Lady Diva's name right there. Okay, let's go ahead and get all of Lady D Diva's accessories in her box and Lady Diva herself. If there is any room with all of these feathers in here, oh my goodness, so fun. All right, let's put everything in. Thank you. And we'll put her little magazine in here. And of course, a Lady Diva herself. Awesome. <laughs> It's so adorable. Here, let's fluff some of these feathers around a little bit. There we go. Oh, so cute. I'm so very, very happy with the way that this box turned out. I love it. Let's go ahead and put her her, her, her lid on, don't you? Love the lid. Oh my goodness, I think that's my favorite part. And there's Lady Diva all in her display box. Oh my goodness, so adorable she is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye now. Mm -hmm.